gate 2021 civil engineering set 2 question 6 strain hardening of structural steel mills option a experiencing higher stress than yield stress with increased deformation option b strengthening steel member externally for reducing strain experience option c is strain occurring before plastic flow of steel material and option d is decrease in the stress experience with the increasing strain reference to the relevant NPTEL courses and videos has been cited now coming to the useful data here we have drawn the stress strain curve of mild steel in the y direction we have uh, sawn stress and in x direction we have sawn strain so after increasing the stress the strain variation in the mild steel is linear so the point a here is termed as proportional limit and point B is elastic limit point because till this point, if we remove the load, the material regains its strength. Point C is upper yield point because this is the load at which material starts yielding. And point D is the lower yield point because this is the maximum load at which there isn't much change in the stress, but the strain is linear. So the DE is yield plateau region where there isn't much change in the stress but the strain is constant e to f is termed as strain hardening point because if you are increasing the stress beyond beyond point e we will see some amount of strain so this reason e to f is termed as strain hardening reason and at point f uh, this is termed as ultimate tensile strength point where we can see that here the necking formation starts if we increase the stress beyond this point f uh, we will see the fracture point so this is at point f there will be necking formation if you want to increase the stress beyond point f we will come to the point g which is a fracture point and the reason f to g is termed as strain softening reason and at point G, we will see the fracture. So for mild steel, the fracture angle, we receive it as 45 degree. So this fracture is termed as cup and cone formation. This is termed as cup and cone formation. Now, if you see the yield plateau region D to E, we can see that here the stress is constant, but the strain is varying. So we can say that in D to E, the material mild steel is not offering any kind of resistance against deformation so point d to e is also called uh, plastic flow so we can write here d to e is also termed as plastic flow coming to the video solution part strain hardening of structural steel first option is experiencing higher stress than yield stress with increased deformation now if you go to the previous slide in the yield stress part let's say our stress is sigma 1 and in the strain hardening region our stress is sigma 2 so as we see that if we increase our stress from sigma 1 to sigma 2 let's say if the strain here is epsilon 1 and the strain here which we received is epsilon 2 so we can clearly say that with the increase in stress which is increasing from sigma 1 to sigma 2 the strain is also increasing so we can say that epsilon 2 will be greater than epsilon 1 so our option a is correct uh, because with increase in stress the deformation will be more in strain hardening reason now the option b which says that strengthening steel member externally for reducing strain experiments which is incorrect because in the strain hardening we are not strengthening the steel member externally and uh, the option c is strain occurring before plastic flow of steel material which is also incorrect because the plastic flow which is yield plateau reason d to e which occurs before the strain hardening so this is also incorrect and the option d is decrease in the stress with increasing strain which is also incorrect because in the strain hardening the stress is increasing not decreasing so this is also incorrect so our option will be a which is correct reference to the relevant NPTEL courses or video has been cited